Development Podcast for 2022, December 2, 7.18 a.m. The advertising experiment ended in a disastrous failure. I mean, I got to meet a bunch of people, so maybe it wasn't that bad, but if you're a company that relies on advertising to grow, then Twitter advertising is as, as about as much as a failure as a failure can be. It was a Twitter promote mode campaign, and if this were anything like Twitter's earlier promote modes, I predict I would have gotten at least 100 Patreon subscribers, probably close to 1,000 Twitter followers, and the campaign would have paid itself off in about 10 months sooner if it produced momentum, as when I participated in one of Twitter's earlier promote mode campaigns, I gained somewhere between 100 and 200 followers without doing any advertising-specific tweets through it. The latest 100 Twitter followers, I would say, is at attributed to doing eShop card giveaways with my gaming live streams without any kind of promote mode on, even if there were relatively few people actually participating in the giveaways. Today's Twitter promote mode is a money drain and possibly reputational poison. I got a couple of replies, a couple of followers, a bunch of likes on the tweet, but nothing translated into new funds. My money would have been better spent on eShop cards to give away while live streaming, or two whole Nintendo Switch systems to do giveaways with. And I imagine companies with even more money to spend on advertising budgets fared even worse, especially if people are so repulsed by the tone of modern advertising that they've already blocked or muted a lot of the big brands out there. It's a good thing I didn't wait any longer to try this experiment, as the advertising campaign started precisely one day before that new guy waltzed in and started trying to steer Twitter to wherever he's trying to take it now. As things stand, I can just about guarantee that you're more likely to find success by saving your money and collaborating with other small creators, or if you really want to offload that extra cash, give it to me, either by Patreon or Ko-fi or my artist tree to buy a commission from me, or have me endorse your product or service. That last bit will be tough though, I don't endorse just anything. You'll have an easier time if you are a Nintendo blogger, indie developer, if you are involved in Voss, Floss development, or Linux gaming, or HTML5 gaming. Godot version 4 is in beta 7. I originally wrote this paragraph when beta 6 came out. Seeing as they're stepping up their release schedule to a new beta just about every week, I guess that means they're not having their servers hammered anymore, so I'll be removing my IPFS link to the older betas, although the files may persist due to the nature of IPFS itself. In other news, I learned recently that the sponsor Established Titles may be a scam. This was linked to me in a video by someone who seems to mention watching that one guy who wet himself in his basement in protest to his wife going out for pizza without him, like it's normal? So I'm not sure if I should take their claim seriously or not. That said, if what they say, if, if what that guy claims is true, and these people are offering $20,000 a month to promote their scam, then I could see why a lot of people would still say yes to such a deal. Caveat emptor, as they say. As for the actual work and study I've done, I have no sense of time, so a 2D animation project I started about a month ago is about halfway done, something I thought I could get done in a week. <laughs> and in addition to Godot, I've been chipping away at some simple C++ lessons. I did manage to spend just about all of the days I was good to livestream doing so, it probably helped that Bayonetta 3 and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, two games that I was very excited for, had come out, making for a long string of special days, days where I would stream something other than my usual lineup. I have not made progress on the Xenoblade Guide or the Vulcan Lessons, however. I can't promise that I'll get back to them soon, but I can say I'm still very much interested in continuing them, especially while Xenoblade is still trending on social media, and Vulcan is still new and fresh and relatively new territory. Um, now that I've said that, I wouldn't be surprised if a video on one or both of those things came out within the week. As always, thank you for watching or listening along. Special thanks to Zed Diggity, Phoenix Astra, and Joshua J. Sloan for being my top Patreon supporters so far. If you cannot contribute money to our projects but want to contribute something, I also take tips in basic attention token, both here on YouTube and on my tweets. If you can't afford either of those things, then that's totally okay. I'm hoping to make as much of what I make as free or as cheap as possible without going into one of those deals where the consumer is the product. That said, Patreon subscribers do get a bonus entry on contests and giveaways that I do, where the primary entry is open to everyone. 
simply following, sharing, and interacting on our live streams is enough to participate, I may extend that to my vlogs here as well. Anyone at the caramel or maple butter rum levels will get one free commission per month of the one hour commissions that I've started doing for freelance 3D work. Links to all my socials are in the description box down below, and I hope you'll look forward to my next update whenever and wherever it may be.